Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live video broadcast, it is testing Tuesday. <laughs> that means we're just going to try out some products, try out a new technique, whatever. We're just going to test out some new things today. But um, the one thing that we're going to be testing out today is, I don't know if you say it Milo or Milo. But I was uh, gifted this, and I had it on my on my list of things that I wanted, my wish list, my Amazon wish list, um, and I have a lot of products on that list um, that are stuff that I've never tried. But I, I'm curious. I'm always curious. I'm like a three year old sometimes. But um, this came as uh, eight, uh, a set of eight, and the retail price on it is $49.99, but they're eight ounce bottles, and there's eight of them, so that's 64 ounces of paint for $49.99. That's a pretty good price. So, um, but before we get started talking on all the paint, let me introduce my love, my darling, my executive producer, Mr. Michael Sean Carter. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, there we are. Mike's oh. on now. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Technical difficulties, but yeah. nah, not really. It's not really. <laughs> Michael okay. difficulties. No. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another night of testing and we are so glad you're here with us tonight we've got fun time planned um you know i think i might have some trivia tonight i don't know maybe yeah, but we'll see, we'll see how things go yeah yeah and uh so what do we have lined up for tonight okay so i'm going to be doing a basically a rainbow pour because i was um in the in the kit you get uh they're all heavy body acrylics and you get a titanium white, burnt sienna, ah, there we go, <laughs> uh, Mars black, which is nice because this is this is the, the good black, not kind of the brown black. Like, um, and then I've got violet and phthalo green and ultramarine blue, which is what we're going to mix up here in a moment so you guys can see the consistency. Uh, primary yellow and bright red. So they didn't have an orange, so I took one part red to three parts yellow and I mixed up an orange. Um, I'm also going to be using Snow White Erda, Erda, <laughs> Iridescent Pearl from Porridge Posse. I'm going to put that in the mix along with some 24 karat gold. So, um, what I did, and here is my thing. Let's open this up first before we get too far ahead of ourselves here. So um, the thing I liked is they come in a jar, which is awesome because um, I'm very frugal and I like to scrape out every little last little bit of it. And they come with a nice safety seal on them. The only problem that I've had so far is this safety seal is like super sealed. Yeah. Like super de duper sealed. And... It, I, that's why I have this handy because <laughs> I could not get it to come off. It wanted to separate from the plastic. Um, the thing I liked about these and why I'm so grateful that these came is that they are American made and they're made right here in the United States. So, you know, no, no waiting for them to come on a slow boat from China. Um, Nothing that, not saying there's anything wrong with that. There's some great products that come from overseas and from China. But as you can see, I'm making a mess. Thank goodness for paper towels. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to do like the band-aid and just rip it off. Um, wow. But you can see that it's super sealed, which is a frustration for me because I was, I was in Technicolor today because the yellow did it, the red did it. And the violet did it, so <laughs> I had all kinds of colors going on. And I was listening to some live streams, and <laughs> it's like I wanted to type a response, but my fingers were all full of paint. And I'm like, okay, well, can't rightly do that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna open this up so we can have this all ready. This is just my Floetrol and glue. And we're gonna do two paintings. We're gonna do one with Floetrol and glue, and then we're gonna do another painting next week. And we're gonna mix the exact same colors in the exact same cup. And we're gonna do it with mix though. We're gonna use the, the awesome mix pouring medium. So, all right, I'm gonna tear that out. So I wanna show you, I wanna make sure I got all the little bits before they get, end up in my paint. Okay, so where's my camera? I almost went to the microphone. That's how frazzled I am right now. Um, so you can see, uh, maybe, hang on. Burp. <laughs> One thing I like about doing the new lighting, I can reach the light. So if I need more light, just to help you see, you can see this is really, really thick. Um, it's not coming off. I just did a scoop and it's not plopping off. One, two, three, four, five there after I shook it a few times. So the only one, there was two issues that I've had. And you know me, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, the purple and the red seemed kind of chunky um, until I stirred them up and then the, it seemed to disperse. So I don't know if that was just a line of pigment that settled or something like that. So um, you do want to stir these up just like pretty much every other paint. But you really want to make sure that there's no lumps and bumps in there. And I had a difficult time getting the red to mix in with the the uh, pouring medium. So I'm going to put, I have three ounces of Floetrol and glue in here. I'm going to put one ounce of paint, which is usually about two gloops. There we go. And I'm going to scrape off my stick. I'll use that stick in there. Forgot to put where did I put my tray? One thing that's kind of cool too is they come with it comes this little kit you get in this little neat little box. And is that my tray? Yeah. Thank you. I just want to set my tray over here so I can put my paints on it so they're out of the way. Um, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. Um, they come with the, it comes with a palette knife. A cute, it's just a cute little palette knife. It's not anything fancy. It's not, I mean, maybe it costs them, you know, a quarter to send it along with. But it's, it's a nice, it's nice because it, it would be a nice scoop for someone who doesn't have something available to them. Me, I have tons of these sticks because every time I go to Home Depot, I buy like three of them. So... You can see even after the pouring medium, it's added to the pouring medium, you get a nice trace of three right there. So when I say trace of three, that means when you leave a ribbon, I'm trying to scrape the sides here so you guys, I can get some light in there so you can see. So, okay. So it leaves a trail for a count of three. It takes three seconds or a count of three for it to disappear back into the paint. And that is what I mix the 90% of my pores because I don't do a lot of Dutch pores and I don't do a lot of swipes and I don't, but when I do the swipes and such, I, I do a different trace. So, well, for some of it I do. Anyway, so there's the blue. And while I'm getting this stuff ready, Michael, why don't you say hello to the people in chat? Well, we've got the usual suspects here tonight. Our moderators are taking care of the chat. Love, love our moderators. Say thank you to Cheryl. Thank you to Doris. <laughs> and tonight, well, what can I say? We have got a wild group here tonight. Oh, goodness I tell you gracious. what. Chat's already gotten a little crazy. <laughs> so, do see Leche's here. Hey, Linda. <laughs> Talking about how she's just not trivial. Okay. 
Well, if you say so. I see Diane's here. Diane and Tony. Hey, hello. guys. Hello, hello. There's Deb, D and D Art Gallery. Who's here? There's Clara Lawrence. Miss Clara, I was supposed to message you today. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I got your message, by the way, <laughs> late last night. And I'm like, oh, I got a message her in the morning. And then <laughs> I forgot because it was late last night. <laughs> Better write that down, put it on a post-it note, yeah. and stick, it on, stick it on her forehead. My, well, yeah. ever since ever since my uh, my uh, Android updated, Facebook doesn't give me mess doesn't give me notifications anymore. Sound like someone else is having technical difficulties, so, yeah. huh? The tribbles abound. Tribbles. Hey, speaking of tribbles, Jeff. B, hail Jeff B. Hey Jeff. Hello. There is Shannon. Shannon's Shaq. Hey Shannon. Got Firestone. Hey Mark. There's Joanne. Hello, Joanne. Glad you're here. I see Twisted Art Lady. There's Sam. Hey Sam. Monica. Monica's Creativities. Hey Monica. Hello. Hey hello. Monica. Julie, acrylic painting with Julie E. Hey, Julie. Julie. There's Michelle, Michelle Yates, abstract art. Hello, Michelle. And let's see who else. Oh, Karen, uh, Karen, excuse me, is here. Hey, Karen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Goodness sakes. <coughs> okay, I'm going to Have another sip of your beer, babe. <laughs> so while he's sipping, Okay, all, be all better now. Are you good? There's okay. Justine, Justine's world. Hey, Justine. <laughs> and uh, did I mention Mo's here? Art flow by Mo. Hey, Mona. Hey, Mo. And let's see who else is here tonight. Oh, there's Cynthia, my fox's baby cakes. Hey. Hey, Cynthia. <laughs> If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate you coming on by. If you like a little art vibe and want to join a creative tribe, all you got to do is click that subscribe, hit that notification bell because we go live five days a week and we have so much fun doing it. You don't want to miss it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all the primary colors on one side and all the tertiary colors on the other side. And I'm going to put some of the snow white and some of the gold in with them as well. Let me shake these up a little bit and shake them up before the live. But that was before all the shenanigans happened at the house. And well, <laughs> shake that thing again. Shake it. Shake it like a polar bullet picture. That's what she said. <laughs> no, that's what he said, honey. <laughs> They both said it. That's what he said. <laughs> They're both talking about it. No, yeah. Mm. So while the shaking is going on, why don't you shake on over to that <laughs> thumbs up button? Oh, hey. If you like what you see. Before I get all full of, well, more full of paint, I'm pretty much dry now. <laughs> I'm going to tip my light back over here. Okay. I apologize. I'm still working on the lighting. It's very difficult because like, we're in a corner, but we're not in a corner and and I have nothing really to attach lights to. So here is the painting that we did last week. This is the Fiona cup on a 20 by 20 canvas. And I'm going to bring it up and tilt it in the light so you can see all that shimmery goodness that's in there. There is just so much shimmery stuff and it is just really cool. There's all kinds of cool lacing and I use mix on this. So it doesn't look as good on camera. It's making me sad because yeah, on camera, it looks muddy, but it, in person, each individual color is, is truly shining through. So got some really cool effects in there. And, you know, me and my swirly gigs and my wispies, I had to add a couple in the center there. It's so got a wonderful floral, floral type of pattern. Yep. Beautiful. Nice. So there's Very that. Pretty. <laughs> Before I forget, I'll put the link for that video. If you've missed it and you're catching this on replay, I'll put the link for last week's right here. So. 
I'll try anyway. There are days. <laughs> okay, so I want to put... I'm actually going to do it this... Well, actually doing it... Think of things out. Yeah. Then we bring them around. I, I'm trying to... I, I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go orange, green, and purple. But see, here's here's the thing. This is the mud side, and this is the nice. I'm going to be I'm going to be kind side. So <laughs> I'm just like, well. So I think purple and or or because these two will be nice to each other. These two will be nice to each other. These two not so much. So if I put these two like this. The red and the orange, but they're too close. They're kind of close together in hue. Hey, you want to say hi to Robert Pearson? Hello, hey, Robert. Pearson. Robert, man, we haven't seen you in a while. Thanks it's for being here, buddy. And also, I think I saw someone new in the chat. Let me see, Kathy German. Well, hello, Kathy. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Okay, so the dilemma of a poor artist. You know what? We're going to start. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start with these at the bottom. So it'll be purple and blue and a little bit of gold and white. Because I'm thinking... I'm going to separate these colors with white and separate these colors with gold so it kind of does a thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm I'm still learning these whole all these split cut things, so we'll see what happens. So if anybody has any questions, be sure to post them in chat. Definitely. We will answer your questions tonight. I see Jan's here tonight. Hey, Jan. He is saying new lighting looks brighter. Well, I'm kind of working on it. Yeah, we're trying. Definitely. definitely. There's Elisa. Hey, Elisa. Hello, hello. <laughs> Justine. Justine's world is here. Hey, Justine. Hey, Justine. Welcome, welcome. Diane and Tony are celebrating an anniversary. Aww. 47 years ago, their very first date. Aww. Wow. That's awesome. Spending it with us. Gosh. Yeah, why? Tony. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. Why didn't you take her out for dinner? Maybe they did. Maybe they did. That's right. They live on the East Coast, so they're later than us. They're wrapping up their evening with... With us. With us. <laughs> we're, the high, we're the highlight of their night. <laughs> well, congratulations, you guys. <laughs> Just have to give you a little bit of grief, Diane. That's all. <laughs> you, it, you wouldn't be family if, if, if I didn't. <laughs> there you go. So who wants a little little trivia? Just a little. Cookie here? I don't see Cookie here tonight. I do see Sam here tonight. Well, then you'll have to, uh, you'll but have I to may, put it on there. I may have to, um, may have have to, to wait. No, oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. We'll have to just come up with other stuff when Cookie gets here. You, you're a veritable vault of information, Michael. You can do it. Wait and see what we uh, our consensus is. I think Sam and Brooke was wanting me to come up with some like eighties trivia, eighties hairband trivia. Yep, they were. Eighties hairbands. 
<clears throat> makes me want to play uh, Brutal Legend. <laughs> I love that game. All right, let's clean these bottles up. And I will put the plastic wrap back on, the press and seal back on these cups after the live. Get them out Sam of the is way. now a teacher. What, what? That's what Julie's saying. She said Sam is now, Samantha is now a teacher. That's very she, cool. Okay. Very, very cool. Nice. All right. So I'm going to bring out my turntable because I have found for me, um, I'm not going to spin it or anything, do anything crazy like that. I just find that for me, um, having it on a turntable works better for the way I do things. So we're going to just do a little bit of white on the bottom. This is just Floetrol and a little bit of White House paint. I get the, uh, what's it called? Color Place at Walmart. I get that. <clears throat> okay, you know what? I Oh, there it is. Okay. I was like, in my cleaning, I misplaced my torch. Because I have been cleaning and organizing and mixing paint and mixing pouring medium and doing all the things. But we're going to do a little bit of white. And I'm going to do just a little bit of gold to pour, pour into. There we go. Probably going to be a cell bonanza, but that's okay. We're just going to roll with it. I'm going to torch this paint a little bit because there is quite a bit of bubbles because I just mixed this up this afternoon. So there is going to be bubbles. Bubbles, tiny bubbles. Oh, that looks like an egg. <laughs> it does kind of look like, now I want eggs. I almost made that for dinner tonight, scrambled eggs and bacon. But I figured. I, I, I have to remember to take the hamburger and the pork sausage out of the freezer tonight so we can have lasagna tomorrow. Okay. Okay, shaking it off, shaking it off. Okay, <laughs> okay so I'm using a Mixed Media Girl cup. And just so you know, all the links for all the stuff that I, well, most of the stuff that I'm using tonight is down below in the description box. Um, I do not get commission from Mixed Media Girl or from uh, Christina Welsh for Portage Posse Paints. I do that out of the kindness of my heart because they're awesome and they're awesome products and I want to get the world word out about them. Um, but the Amazon links, I do make a small commission. And it's at no extra cost to you, so please use the links <laughs> if you're interested in this paint. If you're making eggs, Sam says over medium, please. I only do scrambled. I don't do fried eggs unless I'm on a cooktop. Like, professional. Like, um kitchen stuff like restaurant there we go that's what i was looking for okay sam just for you here is 80s hairband trivia so there was an all-girl group they released two albums between 1988 and 1990 First album was their debut self-titled album. It had hits like Edge of a Broken Heart, Crying. Two hits off the album. Second album is called Rev It Up. What is the name of that group? Tell me the name of the 80s hair band group. All girl group. 88 to 90. Julia is not the go ghost. No, that's not hair band. <laughs> Bananarama, no, Jeff. Wrong answer. <laughs> um, 
Lisa Ford. Do you mean Lita Ford, Mona? Lita Ford was in, uh, uh, golly, the one with Joan Jett. And Mo says salt and pepper. So <laughs> I think I think you're in the wrong genre, honey. Um, actually, you Lisa got it. Doris got it. It is Vixen. I was right. Good job. <laughs> Julie says the Bengals. The Bengals. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> sakes. All right, I'm going to wreck this because I want to. So, because I don't like this right here. So we're going to Sam pull. says she knows more about music in the 90s. Hmm. Okay. I don't know much music in the 90s. I mean, I was in a... That's... The 90s is when I was like... Kind of in a country streak. So I, I did listen to, I mean, I did listen to some rock because I was dating Chris in the 90s. And he was a heavy metal, huge Kiss fan. H.A. Linda says she doesn't remember the 80s. <laughs> were, were you on something? I was going to say, either she was on something or, or she was in diapers. really having a good time? Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Put my popsicle, popsicle, my popsicle pick. <laughs> okay, so here's another one for you. <laughs> this famous, famous hair band group released an album that had the songs like 99 in the Shade, Blood on Blood. And a top charter called Bad Medicine. <laughs> he just Na gave it away. Yeah. <laughs> Name the album. Name the album? Yeah. Oh, tell you're getting who, fancy you, now. Name the album. You can you can tell me who the group is. I'm sure you know who the group is, but name the album. I, I can't, can't mute the microphones. <laughs> Are we muted? Nope. Mute the microphone so I can I can guess without telling it. Oh, you, you know who it is. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not a big fan of the band, so I was forced to listen so, to it. So Bon Jovi is the band, yes. Okay. Karen Karen got that right. Elisa. Evelyn, there you go. Evelyn got it. Mo got it. What is it? Well, no, wait a minute. So, No. No, they don't. They don't have it. I mean, the name of the album. Oh, okay. Doris got it. Yeah, the album is New Jersey. Yep. Because yep. that's where they're from. Yep. That was their first album. No, not their first album. Was it? No. It must have been their second one. Because I know it was, it was before Slippery When Wet. Nope, that was after Slippery When Wet. Oh, really? Yeah, New Jersey was after Slippery When Wet. I suppose, now I think about it. Doris, you are killing it. You are. You got it. You are the bomb. Dot com. Okay. Cynthia said she met John Bon Jovi, and he's a great guy. You know, he probably is. Just, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm not my style. Julie said, is it Hall and Oates? <laughs> Julie, put the bottle of wine away. <laughs> hey, there's Darth Aster. Hey, Darth. Hey, Darth. Slayer. Hey, that's a... Uh, that's an old time. I haven't yeah, heard that been in a long time. There you go. I was just... When Jeff, I was making... Jeff says that he likes White Snake, so... Okay. White Snake too. Hey, Jeff, like, who, who's who's the who's the actress that made, made the videos say, really famous for White Snake? I was just gonna say most guys like White Snake for for the girl in the video, and I know exactly her name. Yeah. 
not like not like a real important actress, but she made a she, she kind of made a, a a hit in the uh, in the eighties. Yeah, like Tawny Katane. Yeah. Yeah. Was she? She was in some. Wasn't she in like Renegades or something like that? TV show. Hmm. That I don't know. Okay, these corners are going to be the death of me. So, take a stick. We're going to scoop some of this up. Get that really nice and caught here. Yeah, I think um, Monica Katane and um, Trying to think of the his lead name. singer from David. Um, I always wanted to say David Copperfield, but that's not right. <laughs> is it Coverdale or Coverdale? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, him and her were all hooked up for a minute. I don't know if they got married. I think they were. Think, they were hooked up. But yeah, they were. They were an item. Yeah. Is her sons have long hair, her husband's got long hair. I have short hair and I like it. <laughs> Your hair, yeah. We want we just Oh my. Okay, don't make that corner. Let's show this. Wow, that painting is awesome. Okay, so these colors, I mean, considering they're mixed with with Flowchall, they are very vibrant, as you can tell. Um, I don't like that either. What is going on with my shtick? Why is my shtick betraying me? Darth said that he has actually ordered the album, the Bon Jovi album on, on vinyl. Oh, that'd be awesome. Cool. There's something just really cool about vinyl. Making a great comeback. It's just more, I don't know, there's just something about it that just seems more personable. Okay, you know what I forgot to do, babe? Can you get Between me four cups? cups? Yeah, just no. right there in that big cup. Let's grab all four. Good. Thank you. I didn't put any kind of anything on there. All right, we're gonna torch this baby. Hold this over so I don't make a bigger mess than I've already made. Hey, want to say hi to Angela? She's in the chat. Hey, hey Angela. Angela. There is the one and only Heather Mater. Heather Mater Art. Hey Heather. Hey Heather. <clears throat> so I'm not seeing a lot of reaction with the gold. I didn't get any mud though, so there's that. So it, it is staying true. It's not, it doesn't look like it's bleeding anywhere. Um, this is the white, um, the snow white iridescent pearl from uh, Forage Posse. You can see a little bit of it in here. So, I'm going to let this, some of these bubbles pop. I didn't see very many in the surface area. I stretched it pretty well. 
Oh, dude. Ran out of butane, but. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? And Clara was asking about. Dun, 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 dun. He's my backup. Because <laughs> I'm afraid to get him full of paint, so I just haven't been using him. But he's here. And he should be full of butane, uh, so. All right. Now he doesn't want to shut off. There we go. Okay. So. I'm going to put him over here. Okay. All right. Close-up time. Now, keep in mind, this is flow troll, so it's really dark. Okay, I'm going to move this light. Flip it just a little bit this way. No, it doesn't. What the flop? Hmm. I just don't want a glare. I just want the light. The same lights that I had in my studio before. It's just, they're actually in the same spot, too. But the, I put up some black so it wouldn't reflect as much. So, oh, there we go. There's a, that's kind of a sweet spot right there. It's still got a glare on it, though. Blessed thing. But you can see how wispy and feathery it is. Lots of gold in this one, and it, but it's not selling, and I don't, I don't get it. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. We're just gonna let it sit here, and dry, and you'll be wanna, you'll wanna be sure to tune in next week, and I'll show you the dried results for this awesome. I love how these turned out. The wrecked part of it, I, I just they look like, like feathers or fronds, and it's just really cool. Very tribal, funky kind of feel to it. So, um, tomorrow night is Artapalooza, which you don't want to miss. This is where we gather up a bunch of my artist friends and we all paint at the same time and have a good old time. So be sure to tune in on Wednesday, Thursday morning. Normally I go live with my friend Clara, but she's in Texas and... We all know what's happened down in Texas, and so I'm letting her get her stuff back together and get her family taken care of, and we're just going to take another an, uh, another break this week. But we will be back on Friday night for Friday Night Flip Cup, and if you haven't seen the color palette for Friday Night Flip Cup Challenge, be sure to look it up on the community tab or join our Facebook group over on Facebook. Links for all that is down below. Is there anything else, Michael? Nope. Just thank you, everyone, for joining us. Keep in mind that if you haven't, please hit that notification button. That way you know each and every time that we do go live, you'll know ahead of time. So there you go. Ruby, thank you all for joining us tonight. I appreciate each and every one of you for sharing your time with us. But remember, be kind to one another. Peace, love, and